What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into y'all good sis, uh, Carlissa. Girl, in this video, she's talking about how her mom did her or whatever. This was actually the first video, but she compared herself to Krishan, and it was a little comical for me. So let's get into it. Clearly, that's not it. <clears throat> that is, uh, let's get it. I could have had my mom and my stepdad. Yeah, so the best thing in the world is to free yourself from any secrets, any stories that make that are holding you back in your mind. I don't care if it's your mama, your daddy, your granny. If somebody violated you and you feel like you need to get it off your chest, that's better than having them put in prison, right? I think it's better to get it off your chest than having your own mama put in prison. Cause I could have had my mom and my stepdad put in prison. You know what I'm saying? I could have. I it's there. They have life because of me. Okay. They 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 not in prison for life because I didn't tell on them. But you would think people would be grateful. People would be grateful, but they don't be grateful. They don't be grateful. I'm not gonna lie. This, all of this stem from. Her mama going to see Junior, which means she was completely jealous at the fact her mama was able to see Junior because now she just completely going off and her mama didn't come out and say nothing to her initially. So, you know, it's because she went to see Junior. That's crazy. You know how hard it is for some of us out here in these streets to have been betrayed by the person who brought us into this world. Then y'all want these people to function without hurting other people. Y'all want these people to get out here. Now, this is the part I want y'all to hear. After y'all done let y'all husbands dig all in their booty in the middle of the night, y'all want other people to be comfortable in this world not to hurt somebody else when they've been hurt by the most important person in their life. Do you have any idea what it's like to live with that pain? Y'all have no idea about some of these people in these streets that would just flick you like a fly and not even think about it because of the trauma and the pain that they have going on inside them. Why y'all don't think I don't let, I didn't let nobody whoop my kids, talk to my kids, say nothing to my kids. They probably would have turned out better if I would have let their fathers or other people because of the So now she's starting to speak about the mom that she wasn't. Okay trauma that I experienced I didn't trust nobody with my kids nobody not my mama or my daddy nobody and my daddy ain't never did nothing in his life I don't trust nobody and the reason that people grow up like me and Krishan you know and maybe even John's dad is because our parents left somebody violate us <clears throat> now she see where Blueface daddy coming from remember she was talking about <clears> how <throat> he ain't had no daddy in a way that we can't we can't trust nobody on this planet everybody is a op because our parents was a op so y'all gotta remember that when y'all out here playing with people and then you think oh well why don't they have feelings we we don't have feelings because we didn't come packaged with none it's not our fault how we here we just here by the grace of god Okay, it is literally the grace of God that we are here. Because when you come here and you expect for the person who brought you here to protect you, animals and wolves and um, sheep protect their children. When our own parents don't protect us in a way that we know we should be protected, you can run into anybody in these streets with that type of pain and anger in their heart and they will hurt you. I just feel like she should have admitted all of this when the story was on her you know what i'm saying like the subject was on her your own son was like yo ma can you like love me a little bit i mean even Blueface went off on her the fact that she just wasn't there you know she was being he said a whore okay and doing ungodly things and all she did was blame them and tell them she sounded just like her mama get over it but now she want to cry. That's why I'm just not, I'm not. So stop thinking sweet out here. It's not sweet because some of these foul 
women just let anybody around their kids, anybody could babysit their kids. They don't even got to know their history. They don't got to know who they are. They don't got to know if they've been to prison, if they sleep with boys, if they sleep with girls. They just let them move into their house. And then that becomes their kids. My mother let a man beat me to a month until I had whips and bruises on my back. And then turn around and that same kind of finger bang me in my sleep. I don't have the same type of and feelings that y'all have for each other. And that's not my fault. I try to grow some feelings and some like y'all have every day. I do. I try to like y'all give a every day. Those of y'all who had mothers like, you know, my kids had. And those of y'all who have fathers like I had. But I just, I can't find them. So if I don't give a and I just blink and you're not there no more. That's just what it is. I don't, it's not, it just, this, this my DNA makeup. I keep mine too, cause child, mm -mm. I, can't, I, have, I act like you, you don't exist. I tried my whole life. My sister talking about, oh, you need to get help if you can't forgive. How you gonna forgive them that's mad at you for telling your truth? If I speak out about my truth, then you mad at me. It's just my life. Yes, I'm going to write a book. Yes, I'm in the process of writing a movie. Yes, I'm going to tell my life story. I'm not going to leave that out. And you still can't find it in your heart to apologize and accept that you was wrong. If one of my kids come to me and say, Mama, you did this wrong, I accept that. I own it. You know what? My bad, baby. Cap. Maybe I shouldn't have been so tough in your business. Maybe I should have let y'all. Cap. You actually do the total opposite and clown them on the internet, which means you're not taking accountability still for what you did. So how the hell you think your mama, who has got to be 20 years older than you, going to take some accountability? Stop playing. It's not happening. Do something else. Man. You hurt people, absolutely hurt people, and that's something you did take accountability for, but you're still unapologetic of how you treated your own children. No, ma'am. And how you still, to this day, treat your own children no maybe i should have been you know more respectful to y'all dads and let them you know be more in y'all lives but i i don't know i don't know how to do that so i would accept anything my kids said if they say mama you was oh my bad <laughs> mama you ain't oops my bad no not my mama mm -mm. she mad to the core because I speak my truth and I tell my story. It's in my books. It's in my autobiography. It's in it's in my life because I don't want y'all women out here to make the same mistake of thinking it's sweet to let a man that you think love you come in and finesse you out your daughter. You don't do that to your kids. You feel me? You don't let no somebody in these streets come finesse you out your kids. Now, if your kids choose to get up and say, fuck you and go, fuck you bye-bye down the road and tell them, see you when I see you. But as long as your kids is in your house, you don't let them finesse you out your daughter's virginity, out her, and don't be blaming it on her, talking about she get out the shower with no clothes on. I don't know, I'm 10, 12 years old. If I jump out the shower, I'm not, I'm at home, I'm not, ex and I run and get my towel, I'm not expecting that that's about to turn your up. It ain't supposed to. It's not supposed to. You didn't raise me with no stepdaddy. He just popped up out of nowhere. So I don't know. I'm used to my own daddy. My own daddy don't f around with kids like that. You feel me? So some of y'all just giving these men a second chance. And you know what I'm saying? You're going to read about it in my book. I'm going to tell my story whether she like it or not. She ain't never apologized. So it must be what, what God want me to say that's on my heart. Because... I'm pretty sure if she had a now she wanted to apologize, which ain't gonna be no good because she don't forgive anyway. Oh. Apologize, <laughs> maybe I would feel some type of way about not talking about her man. She ain't even with the no more. He knocked her teeth out <laughs> right after he tried to me and was gone down the road and been gone down the road ever since. I don't know why we still protecting this to the end, but that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use every inch of my life to tell what my pain is and hope that maybe y'all learn how to treat y'all kids and raise y'all kids and protect them from these monsters in these streets. Unlike some of us that y'all running around here talking about me and Krishan and some other women in this.
I can't believe she included Krishan. World that have been violated by their own mother for a man. <clears throat> you would think she would have been like, you know, Krishan, I was raised like that. My mama did the same thing to me. No, you just start ignorantly, you know, speaking on how someone else was raised and things like that. And some of y'all still, uh, you know, kind of want me to feel bad in the comments. And I do not. She has shown zero sympathy for any of these children because they're 30 years younger than her. Literally, she's 50. Krishan is 24. So now you kind of see, uh, well, 50 something. So that's like 20, 25 years. But now you kind of see where she's coming from. And now you want to kind of like show some sympathy, but tomorrow it'd be something totally different. Mind you, you're mad at the fact that your mama went to see her son. Like, man. We ain't, we different from y'all. We. She's the prime example of like wishy-washy, and that's a dangerous human being to be around. We ain't going to never be like y'all. Okay? We not going to never know what it's like to be first. We not going to never know what it's like to have somebody watch over us. Y'all got that, be grateful. Everybody's not the same, and that's okay. We okay. We okay. You're we not okay. okay. You're not okay not today, at all. Baby. Not today, like Remy, you gotta go. Not today, not when I'm in my feelings, you can't be here, baby. And she's not okay. Not when I'm in my feelings. Y'all can play with me on any day you want to, but not not for free on this day. Not for free on this day, because this is something near and dear to my heart. It's near and dear to my daughter's heart. My kids don't even live comfortably with other mothers around their kids because of how I was raised. Mm, now that makes sense. Y'all know um, Blueface be giving, Krishan was especially giving Krishan hell. I mean, even went and picked that child up at four o'clock in the morning uh, because he was with Marsh. That's something you could have said. That's something you could have said a minute ago. You know, now, now imagine that all of this is making so much sense. They can't even have my daughter got to date somebody in prison so she can pen pal them up because she don't trust nobody with her boys. You see how generational this feeling gets. And then everybody is like, well, protect the eye. It's better out than in. I can have them in prison you right have been, now for life man. for what they did to me. Do I do that to y'all? No. Why is everybody coming for me and I'm still out here protecting y'all? Now, if I tell my story and the police happen to pick it up, I didn't say I was going to show up to court and snitch on you, but I'm going to tell my truth. <laughs> now, I, I said what I said. She's not snitching. Like it, call the cops and tell them. Call the lawyers and call the cops. I don't even know if she will really be able to do that, y'all. Let me know what that statue of, limit, statue of limitation in L.A. Like, is that a thing or would that be a thing for her? Tell her. Have me appear and take a lie detector test and see if your man was digging in my when I told you you didn't do shit. You didn't do a mother thing to protect me or my I've been protecting my own since I was 12 years old. So, no, I'm not like y'all. I'm, I'm sorry that I don't have that same thing in my DNA, that empathy that y'all have for one another. I don't have that. So if you get in my face on the wrong day, it could go real bad. That's just what it is. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Thank, give that thanks to my mama and her man, okay? And I know some of y'all with me on the wrong day. Y'all have. Including my kids. You ain't got to be sorry, baby. It's okay. I'm doing, I'm, I've been living with this pain for uh, God, 42 years now. <laughs> 42 years now. Hey, it's too late for a heal. And all I can do is what God gave me to do every day. I'm just warning y'all, beware of the people that you with. Because some of y'all kids don't know the end of the earth. You feel me? You don't know the end of the earth. Okay? My kids don't know the end of it. Okay? Now, they know a little, little something. Clearly, you wasn't too clear with them because maybe... They would have a little sanity in their situation. But you ain't apologized to them. Your mama ain't apologized to you. That's going to be a forever, you know, ongoing cycle for nothing. But they don't know the end. They don't know about a man coming to move into your mama house and your mama and beating your 
with a belt till you mother whipped up in the back at 10 years old like you a mother dog in the streets and your mama standing there watching while he whooped three girls with our panties showing and our, our nightgowns flying up in the air. Three getting whooped like dogs in the street by a mother who don't give a f about her or us. We don't got that same empathy, y'all got. So when y'all get on here and try to hurt my feelings, my feelings is done. I don't got no feelings in here. And if you put me on the wrong day, it's going to be bad. That's all I got to say. I don't got no feelings left. And it's a lot of people out here who got that same feeling in they, in they spine and they soul that I got. Okay? So be careful who y'all out here because you don't never know who you're going to run into. You might run into, you know, a Damama, or you might run into a Krishan Rock. You might run into a mother like us, and, and it's just not going to end well. So just leave people alone. Uh -huh. You always talk about how Krishan putting her hands on people, but now you understand why she be putting her hands on, on people. I, I'm not. You know, that. a da mama, or you might run into a Krishan rock. You might run into a mother like us, and, and it's just not going to end well. So just leave people alone. And if we each other, we don't give a we don't We don't know what the end. We, we, don't, we ain't got that empathy anyway. Leave us the f alone. If I say something up, too bad, too sad, get over it. Either you love me or you don't. <sighs> Now, when I realize, when I wake up from my trauma and I realize, okay, Carlissa, you might have went too far. You might have said something up. I do try to apologize. I really do. Sometimes. Not all the time. But if you don't come correct, I'm probably not going to apologize and I'm probably going to finish you. So just leave me alone. I don't care about y'all hopping on here talking about, oh, it's this, she, that. I don't give a about you. I barely give a about my mama. So you know I don't give a about you. So there you have it. There you go. <laughs> My kids ain't never have a chance because I'm their mama. You right. Talk to God about it. He gave them to me, okay? That's all I can tell you about that. This sad as hell. Why do you think some moms protect a man and not their child? Because they want to get high and they selfish and they just, I don't know how to love a man that much. I, I don't have that type of empathy within me. So I couldn't really answer that because I ain't never loved nobody more than one of my kids. I wouldn't give a, one of my kids came in there and said, the looked at them wrong. That's the end of that relationship. Okay. Because if my kids feel some type of way, it's not going to get any better. I can't fix that thing. Okay. Either they, cause kids recognize a dirt bag when they see one, that's just a kid thing. They know mm -hmm. how to do that. Right. So if your kids tell you, you know, what kind of kids you got, <clears throat> you have to protect your children at all costs. I don't give a who mad, who glass, scratch your ass and get glad. Uh, you know, it'd be hard to continue. Um, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, it's a lot of trauma there. A little bit of accountability was taken, but, um, she's, you know, it's just like I went through it and I wouldn't apologize to. So I ain't apologizing to y'all. She put me through hell. I'm gonna put you through hell. And I completely am at a full understanding of hurt people, hurt people. So that is clearly an absolutely a thing um it's just not fair you know and it makes me feel even more sad for blue face and dre you know and even cali because man i get it now let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below i'm done with this video love y'all appreciate y'all hey yeah